In today's video, we are gonna take a look at the first of many AI-focused side hustle case studies I have started. This one will be a website automation where we will spend a maximum of two to three hours each week to try to create a passive income source that is highly dependent on AI tools. I started the website two days ago and I have now published 50 articles with images and some YouTube videos. So let's just take a look at how we are gonna do this. Here is our plan for this case study and you can see here we're gonna spend maximum 30 minutes each day when we have time for that. So I don't wanna spend more than two to three hours each week on this because then we can't really say it's a passive income. Uh, we're gonna complete our SEO topical map for the niche we have picked. I'm gonna show you that soon. The plan is to create a total of around 300 blog posts on this niche. We're gonna try to aim for 50 embedded YouTube videos. I'm also gonna show you that. Maybe get some backlinks and we're gonna monitor the traffic. The monetization plan is to get some ads on, maybe some affiliate links, uh, other ones we will take a look at later. The goal for this is to make $20 each day. That uh, will be $140 a week. The timeline is three to six months before we're gonna ev evaluate if this was a success or a failure. Uh, I'm gonna do regular updates on the progress on this channel of the case study. So let's just move on to how we are gonna do this in practice. Of course, we needed our domain name, so I went to ChatGPT to get some IDs. I asked to find domain name IDs for the personal development space with focus on longevity. Uh, we got a, got a lot of good names here, so I just tested some of them. I find this timelesstribe.com, kinda like that. Went to GoDaddy, checked if the domain was available. Yes, it was, so I picked the timelesstribe.com. Uh, can you use your expertise and create an SEO topical map for all the topics we should cover in this niche? So our niche is like personal development with focus on longevity. This is a hard niche and that's why I picked it. Uh, we could have just gone for dog food, right? But I wanted to do something hard and this is like in the health space that is very hard to rank on. So that is going to be like a test if this is going to work. Okay, so we got our topical map here. We want uh, about us. We want something about personal development. So this is like uh, subcategories, motivations and goals, safe improvement techniques. We have longevity, understanding longevity, healthy lifestyle. We're going to create posts on all of this. We have a resources page. I created that. Uh, the blog page we're going to drop and we're going to do a contact us page. That is the basic setup of the website. And here you can just see I started, I want to start with understanding longevity in the longevity topic. As a semantic SEO expert, expert, your task is to create a list of blog post titles that will cover the understanding longevity topic. Okay, so here you can see basically the code interpreter or <laughs> GPT-4 spit out 15 blog posts we should write to cover this topic or this subtopic of understanding longevity. So that is what I went ahead and did. Created all of these blog posts. I'm gonna show you how I did that. And I just went ahead, start with the number one, write a list of SEO search intent keywords. Uh, because I wanted keywords too, so we can add to how we're gonna write this blog post. So now we have the title and we have the keywords to write the post. Now I'm gonna show you how actually we are automating this to write the blog post. And to do that, we use Zapier. So I created a SAP here. I actually just used GPT-4 or the plugins to create this SAP for me. Uh, of course, you need an account and you need some API with OpenAI and stuff, but it's pretty easy to set up. Just want to mention, I'm going to create a step-by-step -step tutorial how you can set this up on my YouTube member page. So if you go down in the description, you can find how you can join if this is something you are interested in. But you can see here, here is our six triggers. I'm not gonna go into deep detail now. I'm gonna do, do that uh, on the membership. But basically we need a Google Sheet. So you can see we have, I created a Google Sheet page here. And here you can see, yeah, you have title and description, right? And from that, we are gonna use OpenAI to generate content. And that content is gonna be saved into our second spreadsheet here. So you can see we have a post here on understanding longevity. Third step is gonna be create an image. So we're just gonna use Dolly 2 to create an image to each post because that is a lot of work if you have to do it manually. So that is gonna follow a prompt I created inside here. 
and we gonna use the WordPress app here. So basically, I connected my WordPress site to Sapier here. So every time there's a new post here that is gonna be created on the, our website. I'm gonna show you uh, an example of this now. And basically, the final step is to upload the image we created into WordPress. So let's just do an example of this and we're going to show you how fast actually you can create content by using this automation. Just for fun, let's just start this timer here and see how long this takes. So you can here we can see we have our blog post. So let's just grab a blog post title here, copy that. We're going to go into here to get our keywords, right? Okay, paste that, submit. So the only thing we need is our blog post title and we need our keywords. So we are going to head over to our um, sheet now when we have our keywords. Okay, so we're going to paste in our title. We're going to grab our keywords here. Okay, great. Paste in that. That should be good. So now this is triggered in the automation part of Sapier. So this is just going to spin for a while and then we should have our blog post ready. Then we're just going to do some small alterations in the blog post and we are ready to post. Okay, here you can see our post. Uh, let's look at the timer. It actually took five minutes. I don't know why it usually just takes a couple of minutes, but that's fine. We usually just do 15 in a row and we come back like um, 10 minutes later and we have the 15 book post. Uh, but we got some more editing to do. We just have to go into the post. I haven't automated this yet because uh, I couldn't find a good way to do it. So you can see we have the correct category. All we have to do now is click here. You can see we have a new image, select that image and just set featured image. And yeah, that's basically it. Save it. So take a, let's take a quick look at the post here. So we have the headline, we have some introduction, how to self-reflect, techniques, self-reflection for personal development. And yeah, it's an okay blog post. Remember, this is just a test. Uh, if this is your personal website, maybe you should spend some more time on content. But again, this is a case study. Where can we get? How far can we get? By using this uh, automation technique. But now let's head over and look at the website, what we have so far. So here you can see the homepage. Basically just the title, the path to a long healthy life. We have some information. And here you can see I actually have embedded a video. I'm going to go deeper into why this is important if you want to rank on Google. It's basically just a video with some information about the website and some images. But that we're going to take in another episode. But here you can see all the posts I have, latest posts. Uh, we have a uh, link to my YouTube site and we have a contact us email. You can see the menu up here. We have understanding longevity. Here's our post here. Healthy lifestyle. So I posted some in each category now. I haven't completed the full category, but you can see we have something in each category. We have a resources page where we have some link to famous uh, uh, doctors and experts in this area. We have an about us page and we have a contact us page. And that is basically, I think I created this, must have spent like two, three hours on this. Maybe a bit more with all the videos, maybe let's say four hours total now to create this website. But do we have any pages that is indexed already? Let's take a look. Here you can see we have this post that is called Does body weight affect longevity? And here you can see I embedded a YouTube video. So this is just uh, a summarized text of this post into a voiceover and some text and some images behind. So if we go to, this is like a VPN search, we're gonna search for does body weight affect longevity? United States, and we're gonna do iPhone, so let's search for that. So if we scroll down here now, you can actually see, here we are, you can see we are already ranking, this is 22 hours ago. Uh, we're a bit far down, maybe on page three, but that not, that's not bad for just being like, uh, we created this site 22 hours ago. Does body weight affect longevity? And if we go to videos, you can see here, we are not on the top, but we are here. So actually people can find this site. Don't mind the channel name, I'm gonna change that later. Uh, but we are in the top 10 among videos too, so I just thought I was very fast. So let's take a look at how many pages we have indexed so far. So if we just go to Google, search for site, call on timelesstribe.com, you can see all the pages we have here. So we have two, I don't know how many posts this is. It's about 16, 18 of the 50 posts 
that has already been indexed. And I thought that was quite quick, and we probably have one video, yeah? So, that's a good start, I think. And we're gonna start to monitor if we can see some traffic coming in. We're gonna start to work some, maybe get some backlinks. And it's gonna be interesting to follow this and to see where we are at in, let's say, a week, right? And I think that's gonna be it for today. If you wanna follow along with this case study, just hit the subscribe button or maybe like this video to help me out. And I got a lot of other case studies plans. We're gonna do video, we're gonna do shorts, we're gonna do automation, we're gonna do AI agents, we're gonna do automated email marketing. I have a lot of case studies lined up. So if this is something you are interested in, yeah, follow along. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.